Welcome to this tutorial. This tutorial is on uibakery.io. UIBakery is a solution-based website that allows users to generate web applications, internal tools, and dashboards using AI-powered prompts. Cool, right? Now, the key features include a drag-and-drop UI builder, integrations, component, workflow automations, Git version control, embedded applications, and many more. And these different features meet with the catering of various industries and many use cases. Now, if you're still wondering where you might fit in, you could have a glance still here at the top right corner at the solutions. Here under solutions, you can see that they've categorized their solutions by type, by team, by industry, and by integration. This should put things in more focus. And then if you want a broader view of things, you could go down here and click on all solutions. Now, when we click on all solutions, it takes us to a page where we could explore all UI bakery capabilities. Sounds like bread, but it's just UI bakery. Then you can see the different applications that you can have in this website the list is almost endless so you can also come here and find out what other things you can actually do with this tool and after that we're going to talk about the pricing now under pricing there are actually four different payment packages or plans there is of course the free version and the free version has different features, the pros, and then you have the standard business and enterprise. Now with these different plans and packages, with each migration, you have the benefit of having the previous one. For example, standard has everything in free plus its own addition. The same thing with business. Business covers everything in standard and free and has some more additions. And if this is not so clear and you're not so sure of what you can do with it and you're trying to decide what plan you can be on, you can compare different plan and the features. So you still have free standard business and enterprise. And then you can contrast between the different plans, what it has and what it doesn't have. And this will help you to decide what plan you're starting with. It has a frequently asked questions, which of course you could go down here and ask some more questions. Of course, one of the great benefits of this website is it helps you to build apps faster. Now it says 10 times faster than classic development. So we're going to go ahead and sign up and try to see for ourselves. Now, before we go ahead and sign up, we're just going to have an extended view of the homepage and we can see AI generated apps. So from the solutions, you have examples of what people have done with it and you could explore this to see just how good it works. And then you also have what AI app generator can be used for web application in seconds, business intelligence, conversational search, prototype and edit. And if you're excited about how we want to make this happen, let's go ahead and sign up. So we're going to go to the top right corner and start for free. Of course, you have the option to use your Google or you can use your work email, put in the password, you know, the drill. So we're going to go ahead and sign up. And now we're signed up, we have the main dashboard for creativity. Now here we can actually see an example of an application. And then we have the top bar here. The top bar here, we could actually set the pixels for a mobile version, or you could set it for a desktop version. So this is the app. And whenever you've been able to do something with it, you could actually switch views to see how it works on different devices. Now you have home, you can click on users, products and things like that. So we're going to go back to desktop because that's what we're using. We could go ahead to edit the app at the top right corner here of the dashboard, but also the sidebar has your email address. And then you also have some other features down here. Now we're interested in the create app button. Now the create app button has three options and we're going to go through all of them. So the first one is to create a new app. And here you get to set the new app name. You get to make some other settings such as the color of the app and we could change it to red or to change it to orange. And you could also set the icon of this app, right? Now, the other option is to create from a template. 
Now, the difference between create a new app and create from a template is that you have the option to select from other templates in addition to what you already had in just creating a new app. So of course you get to add the app name, you get to select the color and icon, and then you get to select the template. Now, of course you could still start from scratch just as the very first one we had. You also have the example app where you could actually select from different examples of different apps. Now for many users or for some users or for you, you can actually come here and see just what you might need. And that's going to be fine. And then if you want more, you could go into other options. And the third option is to create a module. Now, of course, this is more technical. You have to, first of all, set the name of this module and go ahead to create a module, right? But for us, we're going to go with a template and we just gave it a name PDF generator, right? So we're going to select the color. Um, maybe we're going to select sky blue or red. I think we're going to select red and then we're going to look for an icon. We're going to pick this icon over here and then we can set from blank or we could go ahead and select from scratch or we're going to look for an example app. So I'm going to go down here and I'm going to select PDF generator. This is not very original, but this just shows you what you can do with the options here on UI Bakery. Now, of course, I didn't mention this is actually the creative studio of UI Bakery IO. So we're actually in the studio currently trying to create something to meet with the needs of a user. So after you've set the name, selected the color and the icon, you go ahead and create app. Now here we have the component of this app. And then we have the main dashboard where we can see what's happening. And here we have the edit space. So for example, just to show you the relationship between this components area here that is, that is in the sidebar and the main dashboard and the edit space, and we're going to use the drag and drop feature and we're going to select button here and we're going to put it here. Now we've just dragged a component from the left side or the left sidebar to the dashboard. Now we can actually change the name of this button here in this edit area. And now we've just changed the name of the button to sort and we just click away and it's going to keep it that way. Now to this button, we can actually add a link to a URL or we could actually send it to another page. And there are other things we could do here and we could disable the button. Remember the button now is in blue, it's highlighted. And if we set it to yes for disabled, that button will not show. So we're going to leave it back and we have the appearance. You could change the color of this to yellow. Let's just leave it that way for the sake of showing it. And the appearance could be filled or outlined. So there are options for customization yeah. here. We're going to leave it in filled and then the icon placement. So this button can have an icon and you can see here the icon is a star. So we're going to click back on it and we could place the icon just before the name of the button or just after the button or we could just have it in the middle without the name. So we're going to leave it this way. And then we could also change the icon. So when it comes to sort, we could change it to something like uh, this. Yeah, so we could change it to the edit looking icon. Well, you're going to sort, maybe you're going to edit it, or we could have changed the button back to edit, right? So we're just going to go up back to the name of this button and change it to edit. And now we've set the icon, we have the icon placement and we have the the triggers, right? So on click, you're going to ask it to do something. Now on click, when you ask it to do something, it could be to generate PDF or load users, or you could add an action, right? Now, if you notice the download button, if you go to the action area where you have the trigger, when you click on it on click, you're going to ask it to generate a PDF. Right, so it's going to generate a PDF of all these names for you to have a view. The styling also can be changed and you could change uh, how responsive it is. You could set it to be just for desktop or for mobile version. And then we have the finish editing button. When we click on the finish editing button, 
we can see this application set up here. What is it? From this list, you can actually download it or edit it. And this was done by UI Bakery using the drag and drop feature and some other easy to do settings. Now, one question, how fast is the deployment of this application? Well, we're going to find out in just a moment. As we can see right now, we clicked on finished and now we're looking at the main application. And this application has two functions. You could edit it and you could download it. And when we click on download, you can see it has users, right? And you could, of course, open the file and you can see just what you wanted. You have made an application where you could have a download button for this document or for anything you have on a web page by simply clicking a button. And now we have the PDF to have a look at. And when we go back to the application, we can see that this has been a successful creation and deployment of an app. And we can see the name of this app here and any other app you can be making will show here in the sidebar. Of course, there's so much more we could do with this website. We will leave this to your creativity. So go ahead and find the solutions for your business using uibakery.io.